Hi everybody, this is Mike Pock with Three Peaks Photography. I am in beautiful West Cliff, Colorado, which is Colorado's first dark sky community, as well as the world's highest in elevation. I'm getting ready for an overnight workshop to photograph the night sky and the Milky Way, and I'm really excited to be teaching my students about how to use the Move, Shoot, Move rotator to get tracked images of the night sky. So, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the Move, Shoot, Move rotator. First, you want to start with a nice, sturdy base. Having a good quality tripod is key to your success. If your camera has a level on it, go ahead and level it. Some people think it's not necessary for tracked images of the night sky. However, it's very easy to do and if you decide to switch from doing single shots to panoramas then you're already set up and you don't have to go through the process of leveling again. The first thing we're going to do after we get the tripod set up is to put on our wedge. So here is the move shoot move wedge. I like using the wedge, some people like using a geared head others like a ball head. I think the ball head is difficult to use because once you loosen that ball and try to reposition your camera with all that weight on the head it's going to slip very easily and be difficult to align with the North Star. So the wedge makes things very easy as does a geared head. So we're going to put this guy on and make sure that it is securely tightened. If your tripod base has set screws that you can use to secure this to the base of the tripod, you can go ahead and do that. You also want to make sure that this knob is pointing towards the north. So we're in the northern hemisphere, we're going to be aligning to Polaris or the North Star. This knob changes the height of the camera and these knobs on the side will move the camera left to right to align with our laser pointer which will attach to the rotator a little bit later. Next we're going to put on the rotator. So here it is. On off switch is over here. You want to make sure that the raised platform is facing towards the north. This is where we're going to attach our ball head and then our camera. We have this attached plate down here and the attached screw has a slot in it. So for these types of screws I like to use a coin so that I can really tighten them down. If I use my fingers I sometimes can't get it tight enough so I always keep a coin in my card wallet so I can tighten down these types of devices. Now we're going to put this onto the wedge make sure this is nice and tight and then the next step is putting the ball head on top of the rotator. So this is one of my ball heads. This is a panoramic type ball head. This allows me to rotate around the base as well as the attached plate. So we're going to get this guy on here. It's a good idea to practice all this stuff in the daytime because it's much harder to learn how to do this at night even if you have a flashlight. So practice before you go out. Alright, so we have our ball head on. We want to make sure that this is very tight so it doesn't slip. And it doesn't matter at this point what position it's in because we're just going to attach the camera. Then we are going to align with our laser pointer. Next we're going to put the camera on the ball head. So this is my Canon 5D Mark IV with the Tamron 15 to 30 G2 lens. I also have an L bracket. I like using L brackets because they allow me to go from a horizontal position to a vertical position very easily. Also if I'm going to do a series of shots for a panorama shooting vertically, I'm now rotating around the body of the camera. So let's get this guy on here and make sure it's very tight and secure. 
All right. Now, Next thing I'm going to put the laser pointer on the body of the rotator. So here's the laser pointer bracket and the laser pointer. The laser pointer goes in here, tightens down with this screw, and then gets attached to the body of the rotator. Of course, we, we, we would be doing this after dark, otherwise we wouldn't be seeing the North Star. But uh, once we have this in position, turn it on, and then we're going to use the knobs on our wedge to align with the North Star. Uh, it's better to do this after the camera has been placed onto the ball head and every time you move your camera to a different position it's a good idea to recheck your alignment so everything looks pretty good we have clear skies i think it's going to be a great night looking forward to getting some great shots and i'd love to see you on one of my workshops so visit my website at threepeaksphoto.com Let's take a closer look at the equipment that's in my kit for doing tracked images of the night sky. This is the move, shoot, move wedge, which goes directly on top of the tripod. The move, shoot, move rotator attaches to the top of the wedge with this plate. I have the laser pointer, which I use for aligning with Polaris. This is my Canon 5D Mark IV with the Tamron 15-30 G2 lens. I also use my Canon R6 for astrophotography as well as my Canon 6Ds. In my card wallet I like to keep Allen keys for attaching various devices as well as a coin for securing plates like this one here that has a slot in the screw. I have two types of panoramic ball heads. These allow me to rotate along the base as well as along the top. I like using L brackets on my cameras so that I can very easily go from a horizontal position to a vertical position. These are great for doing panoramic images. It's a good idea to have a good quality remote you can also purchase an intervalometer if your camera does not have one built in. These are the Move, Shoot, Move V and Z brackets. These can be used for adjusting your camera when you're doing multi-row panoramas.